estou? Estou na Spoken Gymnastics, no Spoken Valley, em Washington. Esse é um lugar incrível, onde eu posso pular, brincar e mexer meu corpo. E provavelmente vamos dar umas estrelinhas. Vamos aprender a fazer ginástica. Vamos lá? Uau, olha só isso! Estamos em uma academia de ginástica. É o lugar onde você treina os movimentos de ginástica, escalada e alongamento e saltos. Nossa, olha só isso! Parece um giz de cera gigante. Vocês sabem qual cor é essa? É a cor verde! <risos> Vamos ver. Uh, olha quantas formas geométricas. Temos um triângulo, que também é verde, gente. E olha aqui na lateral. Tem um outro triângulo e é amarelo. Ah, e olha, aqui é azul. Sabem qual é essa forma geométrica? Isso, é um retângulo e é vermelho. Pronto. Uau! Esse semicírculo parece até um arco-íris. E a lateral dele é amarela, uma das minhas cores preferidas. Uau, olha só esse círculo verde. Vocês ouviram isso? Que engraçado. Nossa, outros dois dizes de cera gigantes. Verde e laranja. Mas que demais. Para que será que servem? Olha só esse círculo grandão, galera. Parece até uma rosquinha gigante. <risos> Oi! <risos> Uau! Espera um pouco. Já entendi. É um percurso de obstáculos. Mas precisamos treinar e mexer nossos corpos e aquecer bem para fazer um percurso de obstáculos assim. Os ginastas precisam se aquecer e ficar bem flexíveis para mexer seus corpos com facilidade sem se machucar. <risos> Tem uma ginasta bem ali. Vamos lá falar oi. 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 <risos> sou a treinadora Kelsey. Oi, sou a Mika. Oi, Mika. É um prazer. O prazer é todo meu. Você trabalha aqui? Trabalho. Eu dou aula de ginástica aqui. Nossa, uma treinadora de ginástica. Isso significa que ela sabe muito sobre ginástica. <risos> Você gostaria de fazer uma aula hoje? Sim, por favor. Legal. Vamos nessa. Demais. Legal. Vamos nessa. Nossa, tô tão empolgada pra aprender. E eu empolgada pra ensinar. Agora precisamos nos aprontar e garantir que não tem nada atrapalhando. Oh. Você consegue tirar sua bolsa? <risos> claro, boa ideia. Legal. Vamos aquecer os nossos corpos pra ficarmos preparadas pra ginástica. Tá bom, não vejo a hora. Será que você consegue correr bem rápido como um tigre? Ah, claro. Os tigres são bem rápidos. Vocês conseguem correr como tigres? <risos> Lá vou eu. <risos> <risos> Pode voltar, isso foi incrível Obrigada Legal, agora nós vamos pular feito um canguru ah, tá bom, pular feito canguru Nossa, que divertido Boa, agora adivinha o que eu sou ah. Uau, com quatro patas e rugindo Você é um urso? Eu sou um urso ah, Que legal <risos> Tá bom, espera aí ah. Muito bem, vamos dar a volta Uou. Muito bem. <risos> Legal, já estamos aquecidas. Agora vamos alongar. Tá bom. Legal, vamos abrir bem as pernas. Uou. Assim, feito um hipopótamo. Uou. Você é mais flexível do que eu porque é uma ginasta de verdade. Eu treino bastante. <risos> estamos abrindo um espacate. Tá bom. Vamos fingir que temos uma tromba mexendo as mãos desse jeito. Uou. Feito um elefante. Isso aí, agora juntamos nossos pés. Vamos ficar bem pequenininhas, isso é o agachamento. Agora vamos fazer um, dois, três e esticar. Um, dois, três. Isso se chama pike. Mãos pra cima. Tá bom. E alcança os dedos do Nossa, pé. Nossa, é tão gostoso fazer alongamento. Vamos tentar ir um pouco mais. Muito bem, legal. Vamos recolher os joelhos. Tá bom. Isso, abraça, feito um ursinho, balança pra frente e pra trás. Quando eu contar até três, vamos esticar, tá uh, bom? esticar, um, tá bom. dois, três, estica. Estica. De volta pro pai. Legal. Bacana, colocamos as mãos pra trás. Ok. E vamos dobrar os joelhos, isso aí. Agora empurra a barriga. 
Tá bem flexível? Tô. Essa aqui é a ponte. Ah, é? Pareço mesmo uma ponte. É, dá um tchauzinho. Oiê! Oizinho! <risos> Isso aí, vamos fazer a última. Este é o canoinha. 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 Esticamos bem os nossos dedinhos. Bem esticadinhos. Isso aí. E depois trocamos e ficamos arqueadas como uma foquinha. Arqueamos as nossas costas. Ah, mas que delícia. Au, au, au. Legal, é isso aí. Acho que agora já estamos bem alongadas. É, Está pronta para nossa aquecida. aula? É, eu bem Pronta. Legal, vamos aprender a pose das ginastas ah. e vamos nessa. Uh, vamos lá. Uh, uh, uh. Pronto, chegamos aqui na parede e vamos fazer umas paradas de mão. Paradas de mão na parede? Na parede, pra ficarmos ah. de ponta cabeça. Ah, é divertido ficar de ponta cabeça. Feito macaquinhas, isso aí. É. Os meus alunos chamam isso de andar na parede. Legal. Trouxe os seus músculos hoje? Uh, trouxe Legal, sim. vamos empurrar o chão pra não encostar a cabeça. Então, tá bom. começamos a subir e vamos andando pela parede até onde der. Nossa! Boa! Vamos contar até três. Tá bom. Um, um dois, dois três. três. E descemos os pés com calma. Você Nossa. conseguiu! <risos> Foi muito divertido. Isso aí. Vamos aprender mais uma. Ok. Começar dando um passo para frente, um pé assim para frente. E vamos levantar um pouco as mãos, levantar a cauda, como se fosse um bichinho. Estica, estica, estica. E aí dá um pulão. Nossa, tá bom. Pulão. É isso aí. Ah, nossa, eu consegui. <risos> Muito bem. Obrigada. Não se esqueça de dizer... Tarã! Ah, tarã! Adorei. Então, na ginástica... Usamos um trampolim, por isso precisamos correr bem rápido. Um trampolim? O isso, que é isso? Ele nos ajuda a saltar. Ele fica bem ali e vou mostrar como que pulamos bem alto para chegar bem lá em cima. Legal, tá? Me mostra. Bacana. Como um tigre, tá vamos bom. correr bem rápido. Vamos pular e alcançar lá Nossa, em cima. Nossa, parece tão divertido. Sua vez. Preparar, correr como um tigre, pular. Ah! Tará! Foi muito rápido. <risos> Obrigada, eu adorei. Você sabe qual é esse animal? Ah, sei! É um elefante! <risos> é, fofo. muito bem! Olha, elefantes gostam de ah. marchar. Então, nós vamos marchar e vamos dar uma estrelinha! Ah, nesse bloco? Isso! Tá vendo as mãozinhas? Tô. Deve ser onde eu vou colocar as minhas mãos, né? Isso! Eu costumo começar dando um passo e vou indo com uh -huh. o meu pé até onde eu quero alcançar, Mika. Tá bom. E depois vamos fingir que temos asas bem grandonas como um pássaro e vamos Uau. voar por cima. Nossa, vocês viram isso? Eu amo dar estrelinhas, eu sempre faço isso. Mas hoje é a primeira vez que eu uso esse bloco aqui. Você consegue. Lá vamos nós. Uou, isso foi demais! Bela estrelinha! <risos> Obrigada! Legal, já fizemos muitas coisas no solo. Uhum. Na ginástica também utilizamos as barras. Então vamos lá ah. até elas. Ah, vamos lá! Eu vou subir aqui... Nossa! E ficar bem alta como uma girafa. <risos> vou balançar... Chamamos isso de balanço. Balanço. E quando estiver pronta, eu recolho o meu queixo, viro minhas mãos como se acelerasse uma moto e giro. <risos> desse nossa, jeito. Vocês viram isso? Uma cambalhota em cima da barra. Ai, nossa. Agora eu quero tentar. Se você tentar. estiver pronta. Tô pronta. Então tá. Eu subo na barra desse jeito. E aí eu estico os braços assim e... Uh! Nossa, fiz o balanço! Tá indo muito bem! <risos> tá bom, e agora? Você encosta o queixo no peito, vira as mãos como se acelerasse uma tá moto... Tá bom, entendi. E gira! Uou! <risos> Isso, você foi muito bem! Eu consegui! Eu dei uma cambalhota na barra também! <risos> Já passamos pela barra e pela ginástica de solo. E se formos para a cama elástica? <risos> Boa, eu amo pular na cama elástica! Legal, vamos nessa! Beleza, vamos lá! Nossa! Caramba! Essa cama elástica é muito comprida, não é? É, e nós vamos pular nela. Tá bom! Bacana! E vamos pular um obstáculo. Eita! O que será? Uma batata frita! Demais! Eu adoro batata frita! Legal! Temos uma amarela, ah. azul <risos> e laranja. Parecem mesmo batatas fritas. Olha, essa é uma batata gigante. Hum, 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 hum. Delícia! <risos> Bacana! 
Vamos esticar como se fôssemos uma banana! Tá e bom! E colamos as batatas fritas! E você precisa parar lá no final para conseguir controlar o seu corpo! Ok! Isso, preparada! Isso, pode ir! Lá vou eu! Um! Dois! Três! Muito bem! <risos> Obrigada! Legal! E voltamos pelo vermelho! Tá bom! Bacana! Foi um belo salto! Agora eu vou tirar as batatas da sua frente! Beleza! Uh, o que acontecerá agora? <risos> Olha só, vamos imitar um jacaré. Um jacaré mastigando. Um jacaré tipo assim? Bau, bau, bau. Vamos abrir bem, é o espacate. Tá bom, espacate. Isso. Uh. Quanto mais você treinar, mais você vai conseguir abrir as pernas. Ah, entendi. Vamos fazer a mesma coisa. Você vai pular até lá embaixo, vai parar. Ok. E vai voltar pelo vermelho. E eu vou fazer assim. Com os braços feitos um jacaré. Isso, bem lá no alto e as pernas vão abrir e fechar. Ah, tá bom. Lá vou eu. Prontos? Pula! 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 Bom, fizemos estrelinhas, paradas de mão, já pulamos. Você está pronta para o percurso de obstáculos. Sério? É, eu adicionei mais algumas coisas, mas vai ser bem ah, divertido. Que demais! Bom, muito obrigada por me ensinar ginástica hoje. Ah, de nada. Então, até a próxima vez. Até a vez. próxima, tchauzinho. Tchau. Foi um prazer. Nossa, não acredito que eu estou pronta para fazer o percurso de obstáculos sem precisar de ajuda. Uh, quais serão as surpresas que ela colocou para mim? Vamos lá, vamos começar do começo. Equilíbrio. Oh. Ei, eu lembro daquele bloco. Usamos aquele bloco quando treinamos as estrelinhas. Atenção. Uou! Uou! Eu posso dar uma cambalhota aqui nesse triângulo. Isso eu sei fazer. Uou! De volta ao semicírculo. Vou subir. E o círculo verde vou pular feito canguru. Pronto. Subindo e... A barra! Vocês lembram que aprendemos a subir na barra? Esticamos o braço e fazemos o balanço. Uh, agora vou por baixo e ando feito urso. Pronto. Agora mais equilíbrio. Eu consigo. Eu consigo. Eu consigo. Tadá! Nossa, eu passei pelos obstáculos sozinha. Ah, agora só falta correr como um tigre. E agora acabou. Nossa, eu me diverti tanto aprendendo ginástica aqui nos Spoken Gymnastics, nos Spoken Valley, em Washington. Aprendemos tantas coisas hoje, como aquecer o nosso corpo e a ser mais flexível e forte. Uh, e é muito importante ter um ótimo equilíbrio se você for ginasta. Nossa, e ainda treinamos na barra. Eu nunca tinha feito isso antes. Ah, e na cama elástica. E no final, eu passei pelo percurso de obstáculos. Isso aí. E eu fiz inteiro sozinha. Ah, tará. <risos> Bom... Este é o final desse vídeo, mas se vocês quiserem ver mais os meus vídeos, basta vocês procurarem pelo meu nome. Soletra o meu nome comigo? <risos> Legal! M-E-E-K-A-H Mika, muito bem! Legal! Até o próximo vídeo! Obrigada por aprenderem comigo! Tchau! <risos> Hi! It's me, Mika! And today I'm at... Bowling Bounds in Encino, California. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too we can explore like circles or triangles or squares or rectangles. Will you explore with me? Oh great, let's go. <laughs> Look how cool this floor is. I see a lot of different colors, and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. 
I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six basketballs. <gasps> and I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you wanna get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, I missed it. That's okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. Oh. See, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in, and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. The yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. <gasps> yeah! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time. I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, wow, I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm. <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white, and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides, and this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you wanna get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hands. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? <laughs> this tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop! Yes! Goal! And we have this really bouncy ball. And it's blue. All right, in you go. Yeah! Whoa, that was a big one. Goal! And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? Red! Oh, right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry, I have it in me. Here we go. Goal! See, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right, three, two, one, goal! Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay. And now, 
is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One, goal! I love soccer. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. I wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. They're kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are Rectangle. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a rectangle. Hmm, and usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. <laughs> but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over. Hmm, we could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have one ball left to try. The soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> And instead of using a ball, I'll use me. <laughs> okay, set these up, and I'm gonna find a way to go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I could dance, I could crawl, I could run, or I could be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? Rawr. Yeah, I did it! I knocked all the pins over, and in bowling when that happens, it's called a strike! Strike! Five, six, seven, eight, and now it's time to celebrate! Come on, let's keep playing! Whoa, there are a lot of shapes here. <gasps> Come look at this one. This is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. 
look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see a square. A square has four sides, see? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle. And makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh. It kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, Whoa look at this big slice of cake. Mmm, mmm, mm mmm, very tasty. <laughs> wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle, see? Here's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> oh, and if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See, one, two, three. Do you see any other shapes? <gasps> yeah, a circle, a red circle. <laughs> and this ball is here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball. Woo! <laughs> hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on. Whoa, look at all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> so many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. <laughs> there are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space shuttle, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow. Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space
space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. There's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> That would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place. Check the cabin, enable, pencil, one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here! It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there. Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. Whoa. We're here. We landed. 
it nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See, red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the Space Shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. How big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> it was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. 
Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go. Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa, that is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do? What do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator. So yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa, look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh. <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The mm. krill. Mm. Cool. <laughs> that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the, well, vertebra. The vertebrae. Well, mm. we have those. You can feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll give that back to you. Yeah. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm going to keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where? Where is the T-Rex? Whoa! That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp and that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm, 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 mm. Walrus out. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa. Gorillas. <gasps> Gorillas are super cool. They're really big. They're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there, a giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? 
Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Wow, oh, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. Wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, oh, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. <laughs> it's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves, but not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <gasps> it's right there, the T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur. <gasps> Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana, what do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, museum educator, so you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool, well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Oh, I know, it's very cool, the T-Rex is Huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa, look how 
big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, right. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. It's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like down here. Right there. Wow. That's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What? Can we see it? You want to go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the Titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this Titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa. Or 37 meters. <laughs> That's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants. That's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like the big blue whale and walruses and lions and we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Who wants puppy kisses? You want some puppy kisses? <laughs> Check out these cute puppies. Oh, this place is so cool. We're at Wallace Annenberg Pet Space. Yeah, and today we get to meet an adult puppy friend to get ready for adoption to go home with a forever family and be happy. <laughs> okay, these puppies are so fun, but we should keep looking. Come on. Hi, friends, over here. Whoa, an orange slide. <laughs> Only one thing to do. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This place is amazing! Puppies and slides! Woo! <laughs> oh, check it out! Excuse me up there! Have you seen a dog named Penny? What's that? <laughs> Do you do? <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> it's Penny! Okay, let's keep looking for Penny. 
This is what she looks like. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's have some fun. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. This hamster's having a little snack. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mika, nice to meet you. I'm Lulu, nice to meet you. Hey, Lulu. Who's this? This is Carla, our cockatiel. Oh, hello, Carla. <laughs> She's having a quick snack break before her shower. Mm. Yeah, would you like to help me give her a shower? Sure. Okay, Carla, you ready for bath time? <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, pump. Tweet, tweet, tweet. La, 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 la. I love to sing in the shower. Does that mean she's all clean? Yeah, so this helps her <laughs> feathers stay dust free. It also helps her nares, which are like her nose area, oh. stay nice and clear of all those little nasty germs. Would you like to meet some of our other critters? <gasps> I'd love to. Great. <laughs> oh, look, this friend has four legs, a hard shell, and walks very slow. Let's meet him. Okay, so this is our box turtle, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. We don't know how old he is. It's a mystery, but he's very <laughs> sweet, and he kind of just runs the whole show here in Critter Corner. Um, he loves fruits and veggies as a snack, so I brought you a piece of broccoli Ooh. to feed him. <gasps> broccoli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like a little tree. Hey, Tommy, would you like some broccoli? Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. Enjoy your broccoli. Have a turtle-rific day. <laughs> All right, so this is our oh. California king snake, Sally. Hey, Sally. She's about <laughs> two years old. Um, <laughs> would you like to meet her? I can bring her out. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the back of the body. Uh-huh. And we're gonna gently grab her. Now, if she at any point wants to get off of me, that's totally fine. Here's Sally. Wow. Sally is so long. Oh yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> Hi Sally, it's me Mika. <laughs> she says hello Mika. Oh, do you know what those colors are? Yeah, brown and beige. Oh, look at that long tongue. <laughs> oh yeah, so she's sniffing at her home. You see her tongue coming out? Yeah. She's like, this is my home, I'm gonna go back. Oh, he's nice and snug in there. Mm -hmm. She says, nice to meet you. Oh. Slither back home, Sally. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Who's that? This is Harvey. He's our hamster. He <laughs> is about two and a half years old, which is actually an adult age for hamsters. And this is his little home. Oh, looks so cozy. It is. <gasps> Wait, is this what I think it is? It is. Check out this hamster wheel. <laughs> the hamster's running this round circle, round and around and around. Oh, I wish there was a human-sized hamster wheel. That could be really fun. <laughs> he loves that thing. I bet it looks like a great time. It is. <laughs> so this is Harvey's favorite activity. Would you like to see him roll around? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll let you see what he does. He already knows what to do. Oh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? <laughs> this is his favorite activity. So he does it at least once a day, a couple times a week. Helps keep him uh, in shape and yeah. healthy. Great exercise. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, friend. And I'll see you later, Lily. See you later. <laughs> <gasps> Check it out. My wish came true! <laughs> a giant hamster wheel! Ooh, I'll name it the Mika wheel and give it a try. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, do you see that kitty cat pawing at me? Real hamster! Ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was so cool! <laughs> oh, but I want to 
find that doggy. Navigator, which way do I go? Okay, this way. <laughs> Whoa, do you hear that? It sounds like meow, meow. <laughs> do you know what pet makes that sound? That's right, a kitty cat. Kitty cat's in here. Let's go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> hey, you got a treat for me? Hand it over. <laughs> Give it. Hello, friends. Would you like to play with this toy? Here you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know kitty cats use their whiskers to help them see? Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, they move around their whiskers to sense what's around them. Here you go. Do you like to play? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so cute. <laughs> hey, another fun fact is kitties, they can jump six times their height. That's really high, kitty cat. <laughs> Wait, I was supposed to be looking for Penny. That's right. Let's keep looking. Meow, meow. That means goodbye. <laughs> Over here. we've been looking for? Penny! <laughs> What's that? She's right behind me? Oh, let's go meet her. Hello, Penny. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey, Lulu. Hi. Okay, so you wanna meet Penny? Yeah, is it okay if I pet her? Yeah, so the First rule is to always ask the handler if it's okay to meet your dog. Very important. And then you're gonna get down to their level. See, now we're at the same level. You're gonna <laughs> offer Penny your hand so she can sniff you, get to know you. <laughs> I think she likes me. And then you can get two fingers like this and then go down her back. Oh, wow. Oh, what? <laughs> She's so friendly. But remember, it's important to ask the adult with the dog if it's okay to pet and how they like to be pet. Yeah. Does Penny like scratches? She does like scratches, and she prefers to be pet under the chin, not over the head. Over oh. the head's a little scary. Okay, may I pet you under your chin? Oh yeah, lots of scratches. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Penny. Oh, prefer under here. Yes, right. under the chin. There you go, much better. Do you want to help me put on her dot me vest? Sure, she looks ready to go. Perfect, do you have treats on you, or do you need some? I do, I have some in my jam pack. Perfect, you can feed her treats. Hey Penny, I have a treat for you. Ooh. Yeah, such a good dog. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to clip the bottom one? Yes, please. All set under your belly. All done. <gasps> okay, can I take her outside? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Come on, Penny, let's go play. <laughs> Bye, Penny. <laughs> See ya. Hey, I think I have something for you, Penny, in my jam bag. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do you like a treat? Did you like a treat, Penny? Go get the treat! Oh, good girl. <laughs> I hope you're happy with your new family. It was so nice getting you ready today, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you know that a dog's nose is just like our fingerprints? Yeah. Just how no two people have the same fingerprints, no two dogs have the same nose. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, that was so much fun. I hope Penny and her new family are very, very happy. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. 
Nika. Okay, friends. Bark. See you later. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Nika, Nika. So much to learn about.